For some reason, I decided to watch this movie like at one o'clock in the morning. What was I thinking? So the dark tapes. I finally got to watch it and I've been hearing a lot of good things about this movie. A lot of good stuff coming out of like horror festivals or any movie festivals at all and a lot of horror people that like this type of movies have been giving it a lot of praise. And if you guys are like big fans of VHS 1 or 2 then you guys are gonna like this one. Also if you guys are into like horror anthologies then this one's a really good one to watch. I wouldn't say it's up there with VHS 1 or 2 but it's pretty close and I really enjoyed this one. And as a fan of found footage films I really enjoy this and a lot of it's because of the way that the movie was presented and also this movie was very low budget and they worked with what they had so well there were some moments in the movie itself where i felt like the stuff that they did took me out of the horror itself but i will talk about that later like towards the end of my video but each story and each tape was pretty good and some of them were better than others and some of them were better at building the horror than others as well so let's talk about the hunter and the hunted first because that was the first tape and don't worry i'm not going to spoil anything because i do want you guys to check this movie out especially if you're a fan of this kind of genre of horror but basically the first tape is a paranormal activity movie except it's condensed into like 30 or 35 minutes i believe and if you guys are fans of like the paranormal activity one and two movies then you're going to enjoy this if not then you're not going to like this at all or probably any of the movie itself but those movies felt like they were super long because there was a lot of dialogue and like not that many things that are interesting going on in the story itself besides when the paranormal stuff happened and this movie starts off kind of slow obviously because they're building character but we have this couple who moves into a house to later find out that they're not alone at all they're hearing like random sounds like coming from like the upstairs and stuff like that but the weird thing is like there's no upstairs so where's the sound coming from it does start off kind of slow like in the first five to ten minutes but it picks up quick because since it's like a short tape the suspense is there and it's building up to like something big towards the end now i thought i had this whole tape figured out but towards the end they throw in like this little twist and it was awesome i was happy and then at the same time disturbed now moving on to cam Girls, which is the second tape now this one felt a little off for me because after having watched the first tape about the paranormal activity stuff this one was kind of a letdown now it's called cam Girls because girls do shows for other people that pay them to do things you know like take off their clothes or you know i guess do kinky stuff with their partner or whatever but this one was interesting to some extent but at the same time it was more a lot of like dialogue back and forth with like other people chatting with the cam girls and then the whole purpose of the story wasn't so clear to me but it definitely was the goriest tape out of them all which was pretty cool actually towards the end even though the story itself wasn't that great i think that the goriness at the end was cool the one thing that i would say that i really didn't like was how repetitive like the latency disruptions or whatever kept coming up and i hated that because it kept doing it over and over again and at first i thought it was pretty creepy because you know there would be like snippets here and there of like them being crazy or looking like super creepy but at the end of the story it really didn't amount to anything other than just like leaving us with like a gory ass scene so yeah after watching the first one and then cam girls i was kind of let down a little bit moving on to the next one which is amanda's revenge which i thought was pretty cool and mysterious it is a little bit of a mixed bag for me because of the way it starts and in a way it kind of reminded me of the fourth kind for some reason i don't know some aspects of it, it did but then at the same time i kept thinking about it but then like why am i thinking about it because it's like almost nothing like it but anyways amanda goes to a house party of her friends and then i guess two guys had roofied her or something like that and then they had her in the room her friends go in there like you know what the hell are you guys doing because it looked like they were about to like rape her or something but the next morning she wakes up and she is like really off and not like herself her friends are really worried so they don't know what's going on because she's acting like totally different and then she's acting totally normal like and like i said a little bit earlier i didn't really like the beginning of this story because it was kind of all over the place you know she wakes up she doesn't know what's going on she freaks out the party's just kind of all over the place we get introduced to her friends they're gonna help her but not really except one person but towards the middle it gets really good because she figures out what's going on she learns that things are going on like in the middle of the night when she's sleeping and in a way she figures out you know how she can stop it and how she can become an enemy of whoever is haunting her at night once we get introduced to her power i thought that things got pretty cool and then and then once we figure out her power and all that stuff we are stuck with only amanda and her friend and that's when the story picks up because it's only them two and they build a lot of character and then the way that the story ends is pretty cool and it's a little creepy and chill and I really like that and then finally the story that revolves around all these tapes is to catch a demon so like in any horror anthology we always have like a revolving story around all the other stories or tapes and usually they're not the best thing about the anthology at all but in this case it's actually pretty good and I would say even better than two of the anthology stories that we saw previously like the cam girls and amanda's revenge to some extent and this one is pretty cool because it's all scientific and then kind of gets demonic and crap so basically we find this tape that you know they are trying to figure out what happens in rem sleep and when you wake up in the middle of rem sleep which i never thought about because that's pretty crazy now that i think about it but anyways they do all these studies and stuff like that they're recording it obviously and some crazy shit happens and obviously the 
title is called To Catch a Demon, and well, they get a demon instead of like, you know, whatever else they thought they were gonna get. Now this tape obviously has different parts to it because it shows in between each of the tapes, and the way that each scene is shown is pretty cool because it amounts to something towards the end, especially because it's all scientific. We get introduced to like a different realm, kind of. And in the end, I, I like the way that it wrapped up because it's like all scientific, all about like this monster that then they figure out the demon. And I really enjoy that because it wraps it up so well and then leaves us with a great story and left me satisfied overall. So out of all the tapes that I watched in this movie, my favorite one I would say was the first one, the one The Hunter and The Hunted. It was great, it started off low for like 5-10 minutes and then it just picked up super quick and you were like in suspense mode and I couldn't like stop freaking out, mainly because it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, I was wearing my headphones and then my dog started barking out of nowhere. I was like, great, way to add to the creepiness. My least favorite one I would say was The Cam Girls because it built up so much that it just didn't deliver the ending the way that I thought they were going to because it really didn't amount to anything besides you know them talking to these people and then trying to pick someone for like a ritual type of thing and also the fact that they use the distortion of the video latency a lot that really bugged me and I know this movie's low budget but at some point whenever they would show the monster the demon or you know the ghost or whatever it was sometimes when they showed a little bit too much you can tell how fake it looked and that just took me out of the story a little bit too much for example in To Catch a Demon and Amanda's Revenge that's when I saw it the most and I was like damn it like why did they they have to show too much like I get what they were going for but at the same time it was like too fake like I felt like I could have bought that suit like at Party City or something and in the end guys I was pretty entertained I mean this movie is obviously low budget and actually in some parts it was pretty unexpected what they did especially with the first story I did not expect that ending at all but my overall score for this movie is gonna be a 3.5 out of 5 I definitely recommend this movie if you guys are into like horror anthologies and especially if you're into like found footage kind of things obviously don't expect it to be a top-notch horror film because of the budget that they had to work with and even for that budget that they worked with it was pretty well done honestly the acting was like up to par i would say it wasn't terrible the characters were pretty likable i would say except the cam girls because i just felt like i didn't understand what was going on maybe i'll go back and watch it again at some point but obviously if you guys are not into like horror anthologies or found footage films then yeah, this one's not going to bring you back. But guys, if you guys have seen this movie, please let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Also, if there is any other horror anthology movie that you'd like, please let me know down in the comments so I can check that one out. But guys, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys like my type of content, then please subscribe for the next videos. Also, share this video with your friends and give it a thumbs up. But as always, guys, stay tuned.